It's getting chilly out here with just a t-shirt on. And I've got work to do. <laughs> that leaf blower works pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> now you see you get one of those with the with the chainsaw too. Now you got a leaf blower and a chainsaw and you use the same battery. Yeah. I mean that's awesome. Your your tent won't be quite as wet. It, it's, it's not wet at all. Really? It's yeah, drying the up. inside was just condensation. I wiped it up with a tin uh, t shirt. Mm -hmm. The mat, mat's going to be wet. You're going to have a little dampness, but you'll be able to dry it out easier. All right. I need to get in here and get some work done. We're trying to pack up to go. Oh, it's warmer in here, folks. I'm in a t-shirt. Well, folks, a couple of you have told me that what I needed for my pop can solar heater vent, which is up there, pop can solar heater's out there, was a dryer vent with a flapper valve. So I attached this fan to the bottom. It's just a computer fan. I mean, not real powerful. I, I will get a more powerful fan at some point. I just happen to have an old computer, so I grabbed it, zip tied it on there, and said, let's give this a try. And I'm gonna run that up there, hook that up, hook this up, and I think it's gonna work. So, Timothy and David, great suggestion. I'm gonna tell you why I didn't do it before, because I had thought about this. There's another type of dryer vent that I was familiar with, and it's the kind that comes straight. So it's like go straight out the wall, and it has the fins in it. And I realized that up here, I would have to run it up here and point it down, and the fins would just hang down. And I never thought about one of these 90 degree deals that goes like this, right? Now, theoretically, this one can go this way on your wall outside of your house, but it never occurred to me I could set one and turn it like this. So now I've got a good idea of how I can set this up. And you might be saying to yourself, well, why are you gonna do it now? Why bother now? There's no batteries in here. All your solar power is gone, right? Well, folks, I still wanna keep this room warm. It's a great little way to get into the cabin. I'm gonna be able to put some stuff in here that I want to keep warm. It's just an entrance. We can load everything in here and it might be 60 degrees in here and 40 degrees inside the cabin. Once we open the door, that heat's gonna help me warm up the cabin. So without further ado, I'm gonna get cracking and get this thing installed. I'm gonna pick up a little bit in here first. So you might notice it's a little cleaner in here when I get working on that, but don't worry. We're gonna to get to it. Let's get her done. Cheap screws. There's warm air coming out of there right now. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Didn't think it would do that, folks. Okay, there we go. This one here. Good luck, right? It's the old jarhead way, do it the hard way. That was pretty good. All right. Now, if I get this on, I'm gonna have to, I don't have clamps for this one, so I think I'm actually gonna have to, I'm gonna try something else to hold this in place. But if I'm gonna take this, I can stretch it out a bit too if I need to. So, yeah, there's gonna be jury rig. But until you know for sure something works. Ah, dang it. <laughs> that didn't work. This is supposed to be clamped on there. have to duct tape it. So, ideally, I need to push this more level. 
this will work, but it's tilted this way a bit. And so the flapper valve, the gravity is pushing the flapper valve back. And I want to make this more level. So I probably need to loosen these up and put another piece across here. So I've got to find something for that, folks. And what I'm thinking is I put one here, bend this guy up for now. Will this fan be strong enough to make this work? Ready? And when I look in there, I am getting the, the vent open. It's only opening about, maybe not even an inch. Proof of concept. That's all this is. All right. <laughs> Folks, so there's my inlet for my pop can solar heater right there. That's actually insulated ducting that I've taken the insulation off because this will get insulated with some R21. Now, I've connected it with a couple worm clamps and a little aluminum ducting between this two by six here, uh, two by eight actually, to some, some metal dryer vent, flexible dryer vent, into the dryer exhaust. Strapped the fan below it and ran some tests, just straight power, pick, put it on, and sure enough, the flapper valve opened up about an inch or so the way it's sitting now. You really can't see it. And, and of course, there's not enough heat in order to kick the switch in the heater just yet. However, I think it'll work fine. Now, as long as when I get some sun, I actually see it working. I'm sure it will because I tested it with just straight power. That's gonna work great because it's gonna stop that reverse flow, which I was getting here. So this guy here, it would, I'd have hot air rising out at night, go out to the pop can solar heater, cool down as it came down, and then come up right here through this register. So now it's not gonna go out there. That should actually work. Obviously, this is jury rigged. This is R&D, folks. This ain't the way it's gonna be. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna actually have to build a box so that I can take this straight out to somewhere in the middle of the room here and have a box that hangs down below these rafters so that that can sit perfectly level under that box and then insulate this whole thing. So I think, you know, that's the next mission for trying to get this done, but honestly, for now, I'm pretty stoked with it. So thanks, Timothy and David, for making that suggestion. It kicked me in gear and got me to make this work. No, it wouldn't have saved my batteries. It was too cold at minus 29 degrees, so they had to go in the back room. But for now, I think this is gonna work. So thank you very much for that. And folks, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out. And while I'm at it, I'll drop another video right here for you to check out. Thank you very much for that. Y'all have a great day. The old jar hit out.